Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University and the Avengers issue number 20. I um, forgot my actual War of Realms issue number 6, which came out this week. It's still at the comic book store. I always forget something. <laughs> I get too many comic books, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, so yeah, I'm just going to read the uh, tie-ins for now. <laughs> my bad. Um, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Avengers, issue number 20. This issue is called No Fun by Jason Aaron. And drawn by Scott Ma or Ed McGinnis, excuse me. Uh, anchors Mark Morales with Ed McGinnis. Jason Keith does the colors. Letters VCs Corey Petit cover McGinnis and Val Staples. And Balo Rivera does the variant cover. And the Avengers was, of course, created by Stan Lee and Jack Frickin' Kirby. So this is basically just a She Hulk issue. The first several pages that you're going to see in the previews, I loved because that's how I feel that their mind, you know, the She Hulk's mind, should work. I really dig that. I totally dig on that. And the whole, you know, the majority of this issue is really just the She-Hulk going around and finishing the War of Realms by beating everybody up. I, that's really all it is. And then it's um, it's kind of meta, not in a good way, not in a good way at all. It's literally just taking all the questions or the, sometimes, you know, sometimes they're a bunch of jerks with the really rude complaints and they're just asshats, but I, I, th I like to consider that the vast majority of people are asking the questions with good intentions. You know, why did you, why is the She-Hulk ugly now instead of pretty, you know? And just, just a couple, you know, why, why did you make her not funny when she used to be funny and she used to be, you know, like Deadpool before she was Deadpool? I don't, I think I, I know I touched on that before. I don't think I complained in any way. Actually, I know I didn't complain at all about She-Hulk. I like the She-Hulk in this form. Um, but I've mentioned also that She-Hulk was the first, you know, Deadpool with breaking the fourth wall and getting all meta and whatnot. But um, this just felt like it was throwing shade at people or maybe not even that. Maybe just, you know, addressing it. You know, when you get a little bit too meta in a comic book, it doesn't feel like an actual story anymore. Especially when it's not one of the characters doing it. It's actually the writer blatantly doing it. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't want to sit there and start reading my book and all of a sudden it starts talking back to me. Yeah, like, that's just weird. That's a little weird. It didn't help the story at all, in my opinion, because there was questions asked, but no questions were answered. So, yeah. Um... This was about as filler a filler issue as there can be. And let me tell you why that's the most disgusting thing possible. I'm using the word disgusting loosely. War of the Realms tie-in. Written by Jason Aaron. Who's doing the War of the Realms event right now? It's Jason Aaron leading that. And this has almost nothing to do with the War of Realms. This, to me, shows a complete and total, utter failure at making a tie-in comic book. An absolute failure. I'm still going to be reading the Avengers books, because I'm not complaining about the Avengers books as it were. I'm complaining about the idea that you just made an event, and one of the only other books that you're writing, you don't even really have it as a tie-in, even though it says it is. Painfully disappointing to me. Anyway, um... Still really looking forward to issue number 22. We're going to be talking to uh, Daredevil, uh, excuse me, Daredevil to hell. Um, Ghost Rider, King of Hell, Johnny Blaze. Until then, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.